So if you didn't know yet, we are getting a new event in FC Mobile, which is going to be captain's event as well. If you don't know about it, you can go ahead and see right there. As you can see, we're going to get a new captain's event. It's going to be very, very exciting because the players that are going to come out are probably going to be the captains of uh, national teams or their teams. For example, Bar uh, captain of Barcelona, Real Madrid, Argentina, Portugal, all these type of teams. And those, uh, those captains from those teams might come out. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what you need to do before that. And I'm going to talk about new mystery signing rewards as well so make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it today uh, we're also gonna see a live show we're gonna uh, we're, we can go ahead and watch uh, live on twitch live fc mobile on twitch um, and we're gonna get to know everything about it if you aren't able to watch that live of course i'm gonna go and make a video pretty much straight after so make, you can go ahead and watch my video instead so yeah at 19 uh, utc uh, tomorrow we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get to know everything about captain cement anyways first of all let's go ahead and talk about the mystery signing rewards as you can see right there we've got brand new cycle of mystery signing rewards this looks quite nice now the animation the, uh, not the animation really the background looks quite nice in my opinion let me know down in the comment section watching about it we're gonna go ahead and claim the first player but we do already know the players that are gonna be coming out in this one if you don't know it uh, the 89 overall central attacking midfielder from this one is gonna be Abed the Pele normal hero of the Pele card that is an 89 overall card and the next card is gonna be we obviously don't have um, the uh, the position or the rating yet but it's gonna be another 89 overall card and it's gonna be a uh, welcome to FC mobile Marquinhos card let me go ahead and show them right now actually we've got a brand new milestone rewards of course one of the cards as I said is gonna be Abed the Pele which is a 89 overall center forward uh, from uh, from from heroes of course um, 89 overall there we go this is the card that I'm talking about this is gonna be one of them he doesn't look like a bad card but at this stage he's not really that great and he's essentially attacking midfielder so probably a lot of people have got central attacking midfield players already a lot of good ones and the other one is gonna be this 89 overall Marquinhos again not bad but at this stage do people really care about that I'm not really sure but when you go ahead and claim three of these rewards once again we are gonna go ahead and get these milestones unfortunately they haven't changed new uh, milestone rewards they they're still giving us a 90 overall tradable one a 91 overall untradable one and a 92 overall untradable one for some reason they haven't changed it i thought they, would, they were gonna make this one rating higher for example the 91 92 and 93 overalls but for some weird reason they haven't changed it so in in three weeks time we are we're all gonna be able to get a 92 overall player max still not 93 not 94 hopefully they're gonna change it but for for now as you can see there is not uh, there is nothing we can do about that but now let's go ahead and talk about the captain's event you probably know already uh, what type of cards we're gonna get and there is probably gonna be a messy card as well but before that event we should go ahead and do a couple of things and we should definitely uh avoid doing some of the things as well we're gonna get that event on thursday if you don't know we're gonna get it on thursday so in about three days we're gonna get it and tomorrow we will uh, we will see the twitch live as i said today we're gonna see some of the sneak peeks for some of the cards i think as well but basically before we get that event and before before you're able to get it to, uh, get to that event all you need to do is obviously play rivals event and ucl event you are still gonna have this uh these two events by the way we're still gonna have rival cement and UCL event, so make sure you go ahead and play them because you will still be able to get more and more rewards in that one. But don't spend any of your gems. I don't think it's worth it for you to spend any of your gems because we are gonna get uh, new gem packs during captain's event and we might get some very very nice packs and you might be able to get some very very good players from those packs. So make sure you don't spend any of your gems because you will you might need them for the captain's event and you might we, as i said we might get like incredibly good gem packs and don't spend any, any of your coins as well i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a live event i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be only a store event so don't buy any of the new players right now just avoid doing that because when we get the new players captain players most of these cards are probably gonna uh, come out are, are probably gonna be very very exciting for a lot of people and the price of the other cards are gonna drop so what i would suggest you to do is if you are if you go high overall cards that you're not using and they, uh, and uh, those cards that are very very overpriced i would definitely sell them right now and wouldn't really buy any new players as i said i already sold some of my players that were overpriced none of these are overpriced right now i, I can go ahead and sell this kalhanoglus and all that but they're going up in price i wouldn't sell these type of players 
I would sell the type of players who are worth a lot more than they, uh, than what they, uh, what they should be for their ratings. That's pretty much what I mean with that one. But yeah, these cards that I've got, they're no overpriced, definitely not. So they they can definitely be in my squad. I sold all my all my all my players that were overpriced and that I were I was not using in my team really. I was not using any of them. All these cards that I've got in my squad right now are I'm pretty sure are untradeable. I do want to change my team around as well. But also make sure you don't spend any of your star points as well. Uh, star points, star pass points. I mean, star pass points are obviously points which you can use to get uh, points uh, during the event. Right now we can get Rawal points with that one. Don't spend any of your uh, star pass points or pass points to get Rawal points. It's not worth it, of course. And when you get that captain event, you might be able to spend those uh, pass points to get some of the captain points and you might get a head start. And the same thing with uh, this one as well. If you go ahead and uh, play Ravel's event, if you got more Ravel, uh, Ravel points um, and if you don't need any more, any more of your uh, Ravel points, and if you are able to play even more skill games and matches, I will definitely do it. And I will definitely go ahead and uh, play that because you will be able to uh, exchange your Ravel points into new points as well. I'm now going to go ahead and exchange my uh, UCL points actually into Ravel points because as you know, I don't really need my UCL points anymore, do I? I don't really need them because uh, they're already gone. So I'm going to go ahead and exchange all of my UCL points into Ravel points. I'm going to get as many of them as possible, 42 and then I'm gonna exchange these rival points into future league uh, league points or event points, sorry. And I'm hopefully gonna be able to get some decent rewards with that. Now I want to change my team around a little bit. I'm using Mukuku. I don't want to use Mukuku. I had 4-4-2 formation with two strikers, uh, and one of my strikers was 80, uh, 92 overall Puska, sorry that I had uh, that, that I had bought before, and I sold him of course because his price was going down uh, when we all got the Mr. Sunning rewards. But what I want to do is I want to change my formation to 4411 and not 4411 attack, but uh, 4411 with essential attack and midfielder position because it's the same exact formation as uh, the one uh, that I was using. But instead of um, instead of uh, the one instead of uh, Puskas, I'm gonna have Bobby Charlton right there. Where is 4411? 433. I need to find that first. 4411 attack is there. I want 4411 with an. Can I not choose 4411 with a central attacking midfielder? It's only with the central forward. Oh, that's so annoying. Why is that the case then? Why can I not use one with a central attacking midfielder? Well, I can't change it then. I know on FC24 there is a 4411 formation with a central attacking midfielder, but I guess it is not in this one. Or I'm not seeing it. Let me know down in the comment section if it is or not. If it's not, that's quite sad because I, I really, really wanted to use that formation. But I guess I can't do that one right now. I have to use some like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use 4141 is not a bad child, but Bobby Charlton has to be a right mid in that one. So not really 451, 451, not really. There is not a bad one, but it's not the best one. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use whatever I'll go right now. I thought I was going to be able to go with 4411 with a central attacking midfielder and put Bobby Charlton there. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to be able to do that one, which is quite sad because I, I really, really wanted to do that. Let's go ahead and end this video by opening this pack, though. Oh, we've got a walkout. That's not bad. Give me an 89 overall. No, here then. That's Portuguese striker. It's not Ronaldo. That's Joao Felix. I mean, it's not oh, 83 overall only, but 600,000 coins. That's going to be the end for today. Make sure to like and subscribe and peace.